I'm here with Stuart Adams, the Regional Director of FPL EMEA. Um, Stuart, we're here at your event today. It's um, the EMEA Trading Conference. It's the second year you've done this, I think. Last year was a huge success, being your, being your debut. But this year seems, well, even, even better attended. How many people have you got here today? Thanks, John. Last year was a success for an inaugural event, and this year we're absolutely delighted to have registered more than 800 people prior to the event. Um, not only did we sell out of our sponsorship and exhibition part uh, of the, the event early, when it came to registrations there was great interest because of the quality of speakers we've been able to deliver. I think the real interest here is not the fact that it's pay to play or, or sales pitches, it's about people from the industry, for the industry, talking about the issues that challenge people in their day to day lives. I think that's what's made the difference. Uh, and what are some of those issues? What have been the topics that have come up on, the, on this morning's panels? Some of the key things that we heard this morning, for instance, from Anthony Hilton with the likes of post-trade has never really been seen as an issue for FIX to address at a conference, but there was great interest in the post-trade arena. Consolidated tape will be debated today as well, and also we used it as a platform to launch FIX ATDL 1.1, which is revolutionising how algorithmic business is going to be driven forward. So tell us a little bit about ATDL 1.1 and what that actually means from the, from the, from the market's perspective. How is it going to change things? Well, FIX ATDL is not just another... Uh, acronym for something. It stands for the FIX Algorithmic Trading Definition Language. Um, and what it's going to be doing is it enable people to move from sending big files of documents from sell side to vendor to have the algorithms deployed into being an XML based file that can be sent. So immediately you're going to be, nobody's going to be rekeying, the development cycle is going to be cut, the cost to the participants is going to be cut, and it means that the actual algorithms will be delivered to the street, available for use in changing market conditions much quicker than before. Okay, so in terms of um, time to market, some of the, um, uh, shall we say, some, some, some of the time decay that, that we see currently with algorithms will be, will be almost eradicated. I think eradicate is a really good word in this instance because what people are used to is somebody has a concept, an idea, it goes back to the sell side, they work on the algorithm, they come up with the custom parameters, it gets written into a document, it goes to the vendor, the development cycle takes place, it gets back for testing, and it then goes back out to the vendor for deployment to the end. That in some cases can be multiples of weeks if not months. By which time the competitive advantage is gone? And the advantage or opportunity in the marketplace because of dynamic market conditions may have disappeared. Whereas now what you're seeing is that XML file gets sent from the sell side to the vendor, the schema is already set up, but can be sent simply as a file to the OMS or EMS, deployed instantly. So really within a very short number of days, the new strategies are available out there. Everyone wins. The sell side gets the strategy out quickly. They see some revenue straight away. The buy side gets the strategies to, to react to the market conditions much quicker. And when it comes to the vendors, they get some of the development staff back to focus on their own business rather than building out someone else's. Okay, now the success of this is clearly dependent on on ATDL being being adopted at various parts of the of the trading process by by sell side firms by buy side firms and also by vendors what sort of percentage uptake have you seen so far in each of those categories it's difficult to put an exact number in terms of what the the percentages are what we've seen through the work of the uh, the working group over the last couple of years is many more people coming to the table realizing what the benefits were now those constituents have been covering the sell side, the vendor community and the buy side community here today also talking about what it means for them. So I think what you see is you see much quicker adoption of fixed ATDL because actually the buy side there's no additional cost. Their existing fixed infrastructure stays in place. For the sell side they're seeing revenue straight away. For the vendor community they're getting the resources back so there's something in it for everyone which normally you find somebody's got an advantage, somebody has to do some work. In this case everyone wins. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome.